What is cracker lacking, ladies and gentle gamers? We have here a rubbish pile, massive rubbish pile. We've also got a build that's coming on the desk. But today, we've also got a heap of stuff just piled here on the floor. Some builds that I'm gonna literally just cannibalize, pull all the good stuff out, and see what we've got left over. Uh, because this place is just a mess. So today is like Tech Yes Studio Cleanse Day, where I've gotta give the studio itself, that is the heart and soul of Tech Yes City, a cleanse. So let's get on with it. So first up here, we just got a rubbish pile. This is just an absolute mess. I mean, I just chuck things down here to save time, but we definitely have to clean this up and get rid of the junk. So there's the mess, it's out of the way. We're gonna vacuum that later. Uh, we got these boxes here. If someone on the Gold Coast wants them, I mean, I did get some comments about uh, people wanting you to use these as displays. Uh, sure, just uh, drop a comment and I can send you a DM and give you these boxes. But now we're onto this right here. These are some of the donated PCs that I got. I'm gonna cannibalize them now because uh, some of these cases are just really off. Like this one here's got no panels at all. So I'm gonna sort of pull out uh, all the goodness out of these and see what we've got. And uh, yeah, it's like, I mean, the Dell cases, uh, 1050s, I can't find any used 1050s at the moment to chuck in there or use 1030s. So it's sort of like the meta at the moment would just be to pull all the goodness out of that and sort of chuck away those old Dell cases. Of course, if they got good power supplies, I will keep that. Uh, as you saw in the uh, five donated PCs, which are still there, I'm gonna get onto them uh, once school holidays are over so I can go into some of the schools and with all that aside, let's see what we got on our hands here. So this is actually the first of the PCs here. It's actually the most interesting. You may have seen some, I put some parts with it. I actually pulled this, started pulling this apart the other day. It's a Z400 HP workstation, but someone actually left, uh, the, the craziest thing is someone left uh, two eight gigabyte sticks in with two four gigabyte sticks. It was really mismatched. So that may have caused some problems, but regardless, we're gonna pull out the 16 gigabytes of DDR3, which is absolute gold. And we're gonna see what process is in here, pull this Quadro out and see what graphics card we can put in place because it's actually got a Delta power supply already. So it's really good uh, for putting together a budget PC. And the case actually looks pretty decent. We can cover that up there, uh, maybe with like an Aura sticker or something, make it look like a custom case uh, just for the, just for the, the flip. So everything's working now, it's booting into Windows. Just had to initially go into the uh, setup and then change the boot drive to the SATA drive here. And we've got ourselves a gaming combo pack here with an RGB keyboard and mouse. So we're gonna put that up for sale. That is pretty much a $70 PC because all we had to do was add the graphics card in and also add a hard drive and pulled out 16 gig of RAM. So this was just an absolute win in terms of this uh, PC right here. And this is, people just throw these things out all the time. They don't want them. And it's incredible what you can do with them with a bit of TLC and even just an adapter there, which has uh, taken two SATA ports to an A pin because this power supply, we see here, it can handle up to 456 watt on the 12 volt line. So this graphics card CPU will be absolutely fine. So here was this NVIDIA case. This thing is completely gutted. Uh, like it's just got no panels at all. Uh, and just, it looks so bad to the point where I don't even know what I could do with this thing. Uh, except we did pull out some good hardware here. There's an i5 uh, 3570 in here, or a 33S actually, an i5 33S. There was eight gigabytes of RAM 
and also a water cooler as well. So not entirely sure if this works at the moment, but we're gonna test that later. Uh, but this case, I just wanna get it out of here at the moment. So here's another one here. We've pulled out eight gigabytes of DDR3 memory and also this right here is a big, big juicy discovery, an i7-3770. So that's really nice. So with the leftovers again, we can chuck in uh, two one gigabyte sticks of memory and also say a Pentium and a really, you know, like a 250 gig hard drive. And we've got ourselves a nice little office PC. So now guys, every time we install a new computer, we uh, test it out with a benchmark called Unigine. So now I was just about to uh, test this out in Ida64 and then I realized it's got a dual core, dual thread CPU in it. Like, I didn't even know these existed with X58 motherboards. So we've now replaced it for a i5-950. Uh, so, I mean, the, I, the i7-920s and 950s, like no one wants them anymore because they upgrade to Xeons. And so, yeah, I've pretty much got a few of them lying around. But finally, this gaming combo is properly complete. So now we've got the next PC and this is really good too because uh, this one had an i5-2400 which is always great for a budget end gaming PC but this H61 motherboard is really nice. We can put an i7 in there, 16 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, it even came with a four gigabyte stick and a uh, deep, oh no, sorry, Cooler Master cooler. So that's really not bad at all. And then the gem here is a 700 watt Antec power supply too. So that looks like it has 630 watts available wow quite a beefy 12 volt line there so really good score here the case of course probably being actually the worst thing in this build uh, but that's some really good parts we've pulled out of that of course we still have to test them so they'll go on what i'm going to organize as the untested shelf so next uh motherboard we pulled out of this pc we actually picked this up on the parts hunt and it's a lga uh 775 with only two slots of memory uh, but the case looks okay. We can definitely reuse this case. It's got a bit of a red and black theme going on, which uh, people always love. And then we've got a 500 watt power supply here from Thermaltake. Not, I mean, it's decent. Um, it's not the best in the world, but it's definitely uh, far from the worst as well. So that'll do in a really sort of easy to run budget build. So this is the next one, a Lenovo PC. We've pulled this apart and we've got some DDR2. Admittedly, they're two gigabyte sticks, which is pretty solid. Uh, we got a 500 gigabyte hard drive out of this too. Uh, so the rest of it, yeah, rest of it's... So one more thing you can do before you uh, completely chuck out these builds is actually salvage these little screws here. It's something I always do, and that way you've got screws for days. So here's the next PC that we pulled apart, and it's got a Pentium E5800. Again, same deal, LGA775, but we did get a 250 gig hard drive out of it and also uh, two two gigabyte sticks of DDR3. So it was another one of those DDR3 LGA775 MOBOs. So next up here, we've pulled out an 1155 motherboard and it had an i5-2400 installed. So they're always a solid choice. Had a little Quadro as well. Great if you need a test graphics card since they don't need any PCIe connectors and the jackpot one terabyte hard drive which is always good, and also eight gigabytes of DDR3. Now, HP motherboards, you guys know, they're a pain in the ass to work with, proprietary practically everything, and sometimes, if you're lucky, you can get a GTX 1050 or a 750 Ti to work, uh, but a lot of the times, they don't even work on HP, so uh, we're just gonna go with a bin job on this as well, and uh, there's a window, ooh, what, what, what's this? Jackpot. <laughs> So now that we have literally gutted all those PCs, we now have, of course, one big mess on our hands. So what we're gonna do now is essentially just repurpose uh, these shelves here and just get organized, at least with a shelf that has untested parts. And then hopefully we can get actually organized around here so the content can flow even faster.
So now we're just past midnight and I've cleaned this whole place up from tip to toe. We are finally organized. I've got shelf space again and we've got room to breathe in here. Like it is just such a night and day difference what a bit of cleaning can do. So I'm all organized with cables, got new products there up on the top shelf. We've got used motherboards that haven't been tested yet. These are the ones I've got to go through in the next Can Yes Fix It episode, as well as uh, some parts that have been sent in from you guys. I do keep track of that. I just want to get organized so I can get back on track. And then we've got motherboards here that are tested. I do know they work. And over here, we've got uh, some builds that'll be coming up. This will be a full use price performance build. Uh, some of you guys on Twitter have been messaging me about this. It's coming. Don't worry. It's going to be hot price performance for y'all. And then we've got some uh, potato cases here in case we want to put together some potatoes. Always need those on hand. And then we've got the 760T right here. I've been speaking with Ethan from Tag Mods. We have drawn up a preliminary design for Darth Jar Jar. It is looking so good. Uh, it's. I was going to go with this Lee and Lee case, but then uh, Ethan showed me what he had in mind, and man, it looks so good. Dar Jar Jar, first hardline water tube build on the channel. It's gonna be something special. SR2, you guys are gonna love this. I really can't wait to do this. Of course, Ethan has a busy schedule, as do I, and so I've gotta fly down to Wollongong to go uh, meet up with him when this build gets done. So we've got a budget time for that. Expect that to come in maybe early, mid-September. That is on the works, don't worry. But of course today, during all this cleaning, I had to quickly go out and get this. This is a Silverstone Raven. So had to go out and hustle this quickly, got it for 60 Australian dollars. Never seen this case before. I guess I've just been oblivious to some of these cases, but it looks really cool. It comes included with two 180 millimeter fans. So I'm uh, gonna piece together a build in that. And then we've got the Cool Master Tough build here, which will be hitting the channel very soon. See all the tough stuff, it looks, uh, sort of that golden black theme. And then we got down here, Snapmaster Flex. I have pieced out all the pieces for this Hustle Deals. This is gonna be just one amazing 4K video editing machine. And it's going to be possibly, I believe this will be under a thousand Australian dollars with 64 gigabytes of RAM, with an eight core 16 threaded Xeon and a Sabertooth X79 GTX 980, three terabyte hard drive, 500 gigabyte SSD, 1000 watt gold power supply, water cooler, and a Corsair Air 540, just the way I like it. And then we've got the rest of the studio here. That was that build we put together today. There was that build we used for the uh, 18 core. I actually had to unfortunately return that to Intel. And then onto the last of the studio. It's looking pretty good. I vacuumed all this. It's pretty clean anyway, except the benchmark rig could use a little bit of a touch up, but we've got to test more stuff on there anyway. The NUC is in pieces, but it still turns on in that state. Uh, that's because I had to rip out the two terabyte uh, Samsung hard drive uh, because I used it for Computex and I used it for a build and then I had to do the review on it. So lots of testing and uh, let's take a seat. So here we are guys, I do need a shave, I do need a haircut, but what we got here is now a clean studio. It's ready for the whole workflow and the process to begin again. And the reason this time around it got so dirty was uh, just because we've just had so many donations come into the channel in the last month. It's been absolutely crazy, but also uh, the deal hunting as well. I've been going berserk. I don't even know why, I guess I'm just addicted to this stuff. Uh, and so what we've had is just this sort of build up and I'm just like, nope, we're gonna go crazy. And that's exactly what we did here today, but also we've been going crazy with the builds as well. I uh, hope you guys have been enjoying the content that's been coming out. And uh, if you did, then be sure to hit that like button and let me know in the comment section below what you wanna see up first in the queue here. I'm pretty sure Snapmaster Flex is getting up the queue, but also that budget build as well, GTX 780 rig. Stay tuned for that. Got some special stuff coming for you guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out for now. Bye. If you think them donations are going to bog down the yes man, you got to think again. I'm an all-nighter, baby.